Hello children, it is Shakila Ma'am, your science teacher. Welcome you all in my science class. In my last video, I would have started the chapter 1 that is human body food we eat. So before explaining the next part of this lesson, I would like to revise all that day we were came to know that overall food are categorized into the three parts that is energy giving food, body building food and the protective food. In this picture, all the foods which it is containing are full of energy giving food. Oil is the resource of fat and sugar, potato and rice are the resource of carbohydrate. In this picture, all the food material are the resources of proteins. This picture is showing you that there are many types of vitamins and minerals. Along with all the five nutrients, we should also include the roughage and the water. And that day we also came to know that what are the importance of water to the human beings. Now we are well known that why milk is known as a complete food. Now we will start the new part of this chapter that is balanced diet. So first of all, we would like to tell you that what is the definition of balanced diet? Diet means bhojan, balance means sanskrit, means a diet that contains all the nutrients in the right amount along with rough weight, water is called a balanced diet. It means it includes all the components but in right proportion. See, this is the food pyramid. You can see the food material which are at the bottom of this pyramid should select more in our diet and the material which is on the top of this pyramid should select the less. It means if you are taking rice or any other sources of carbohydrate and fat, you should take 5 to 7 servings. Fruit and vegetable should be taken 2 servings each. Milk, egg and fish are the resources of protein and you should add 2 to 3 servings in your diet and fats, oil, starch and sugar should use in the small amount. It means in your every meal you should add the fat in the least amount.
Now we would like to explain you that why the preservation of food is important for us. Listen children, if food items are not stored properly and kept for a long time, they get spoiled. If we eat the spoiled food, we fall sick. Preservation of food properly can help in keeping it fresh for a long time without getting spoiled. Now I will discuss that. What are some common methods of preserving food items? The very first one is freezing. Another name of freezing is refrigerating also. In this method, food is kept inside a refrigerator. The low temperature keeps the food fresh for some time. For example, fresh fruits, vegetables and cooked food can be kept in the refrigerator and when you need it, you can Take it out. The next method of food preservation technique is deep freezing. This method involves keeping the food at a very low temperature in a freezer. For example, meat and seafoods are kept in the freezer. Now we will discuss about the next food preservation technique that is drying. In drying, water is removed from the food, for example, drying grapes to get raisins, dried apricots and plums, dried chilies, etc. In this picture, you can see the method of food preservation is pickling. In this process, fruits and vegetables are mixed with salt and oil. This prevents them from getting spoiled, for example, mangoes. Lime, cauliflower, carrots, etc. are pickled and stored. I hope you all are the fond of pickles. 
Next method is tanning and bottling. In this method, food is processed and is stored in cans and bottles. For example, canned beans, canned fish, bottled sauces and jams. The next heading is avoiding wastage of food. The food which comes in your plate passes by a long process. First of all, the farmers grow the crop and it is a long process. In the second step, from time to time, the farmer has to sprinkle fertilizers and pesticide on his crop. And after that, when the crop is ready, the farmer has to harvest this crop. After harvesting, the farmer stores the grains in the warehouses and then it comes in your plate. And many times, if you are not alert, you are wasting many if you think that if you have purchased the food from your money, it does not matter because food is the resource of your country and everyone have the right on it. In this picture, the first girl is showing the extra food which is waste for her. But in the second picture, a boy is eating the same food because he is very poor. In this picture, a man is taking a lot of food in their plate but he was unable to eat it. The same happens when we cook a lot of food at our home. Uh, another option for avoiding the food wastage is that leftover food should be refrigerated and consumed as soon as possible. Many times it happens that a lot of food gets left over after wedding and other parties. We should give away that food to the poor and the needy people. Actually, there are many methods by which we can manage the wastage of food, such as raw vegetables and fruit should be stored in the refrigerator, especially in the summer. We should take food in small servings so that we can finish off everything on our plate. And one more method is that cut fruits and vegetables and cook the food should be kept covered. This picture is showing the simple steps to stop food wastage. I would like to tell you that I am giving you an assignment along with this video. And I was given an assignment along with the last video too. You have to solve every assignment from the paper and after purchasing a new copy, means a new science copy, you have to paste it. In case if you are already having a new science copy, you can write directly copy. So children, thank you.